All right, hey team, we're here at the airport. We're getting ready to board our plane to Paris and then of course to London. And we want to document this for you because without you guys, this trip absolutely would not be possible. So we're taking each and every one of you with us every place we go. So we wanted to show you where we're going because you know what? In the future, there's nothing wrong with every single person in the top 10 being part of Team Mage. So I wanna give a special shout out, shout out, special shout out to you guys from 2013 and 14 that made it possible for Mick and I to come on this trip. We love you to pieces. And a special thanks to Adam and Jeanette. You guys really towed it for us many times, even even like this when we're going away and enjoying the fruits of everybody's labor. Uh, we don't forget what you guys did for us the whole entire year previous to get us here. Thank you so much. All right, coming home from a nice um, bus ride around downtown Paris, and then we got to have dinner together. And we come back to our room, and of course they give us a little treat. I don't know what it says. It says, sweet treats inspire sweet dreams. Hope you enjoyed your first taste of Paris. Team Beachbody. Good morning, team. Uh, we are walking around Paris right now, taking a guided tour. As you can see, all the people, the lady in the very far back is our tour. This is about half the group, and we're going to walk around and then go shopping and have some lunch. Hey, well, it is Sunday night, and it happens to be Mother's Day here in France. And so when we got back to the hotel, they had this sweet little box with a note. And we're on our way to go to a champagne tasting. It's like a little nine-course meal where we get to taste some champagne and some food that, honestly, Mick's not too excited about. <laughs> part of Paris was an old village. It was not part of Paris until the 19th century. Oh, really? It's a village on the hills. <laughs> it's really tight here. And as we've been talking about, we have a nine-course tasting menu, and uh, we are tasting. Did y'all Okay, that'd be cool. And uh, we have three champagnes that we'll be tasting this evening uh, that have been paired with the menu. Uh, this may not mean much to you now, but we'll go through them. Is we have a blanc de blanc. White of white, blanc de noir, and we have a rosé champagne. So this is your opportunity to see how the champagne tastes with different foods, to enjoy yourself. Uh, because we do have small plates coming and going in the order that you want. All right, a couple things. Uh, first off, welcome to Paris. Uh, it's awesome, and I want to welcome my lovely wife. It's great to have her here because now I, I can get directions. And uh, no, it's just fantastic to have you here. So off to you. <laughs> um, but uh, but you guys, as always, um, familiar faces and new faces and people who haven't been on the top ten. It's great to have you guys here, and uh, I'm sort of, you know, I'm learning too at the same time what it's like, what these top ten trips are, and starting to figure it out. And it's really cool to celebrate just how amazing the work you do is all year to get here. Like it really is outrageous, and it's not just like these individuals that get here and make these things happen, but it's these these teams that you create that are so amazing. Like this really is a leadership trip. And um, leading up to this week, the last, the last few weeks at the company have been quite transformative because there are things happening that um, like I, I can't even put into the proper context about what you guys are about to be a part of or more, more appropriately, what you're about to be a part of leading the creation of. Like what Beachbody On Demand represents and what it does with the three pieces of the business and how it pulls together the direct side, which brings all these customers in, and the uh, Beachbody live side, which brings this opportunity for a, a live presentation of these workouts, and then of course, just this easy going sort of advocacy, traffic cop, here's the workout you should do. All of that comes together under this umbrella that you 10 lead, plus guests. Um, <laughs> but like the 10 of you, like the 10 of you, it's outrageous that you're here in Paris eating Stuff I don't recognize. <laughs> and, and, but you are leading like this charge of a, of a transformation 
that is so mind-blowing that you don't even have any real total sense of what you're sitting on top of. I know it's incredibly hard work and challenge packs and success club and rank and all that stuff that you advance constantly in your business and it's so impressive what you've done because we didn't show you how to do this you guys created this and you all created it a little bit differently on your own and that's what's so impressive about it and that's what makes it uniquely yours but I will tell you as good as things have been like it literally is just the start of it it's just the beginning that what, what Beachbody On Demand represents and how these things come together and what happens when people start to realize that it's not this multi-level thing weird over there, but it's going to become, it is going to become a thing that everybody has a coach and they take it for granted and they go, what do you mean you don't have a coach? Who's your coach? Who's your Beachbody coach? And they're gonna get involved, they're gonna take classes and they're gonna buy these products and they're gonna eat better and you're the leaders of it. And it's fantastic and I salute you and I'm proud to work among you. So here's to you guys, cheers and enjoy your trip. Cheers. Cheers. In a big way, cheers. 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 Okay, it's really late at night. We just got back from watching Moulin Rouge after we did our champagne and food tasting, I guess. So we come back to our room and I just wanna show you again, um, they left another nice little surprise for us. Uh, what you see is they gave us a lock to put on the bridge with all the locks. And it says, leave some love behind on the Pont, oh great, Pont de Arts bridge during your free time and come prepared to channel your inner French chef at our culinary experience, insert French accent here. So they also gave us some, what do you call those? Um, apron? Apron. Boy, the fancy little apron. aprons. So we've got an apron for to wear tomorrow and you will probably see our culinary creations. Chef Wee McAllis does. <laughs> That's my accent. Good morning, everybody. Well, it is what, Monday? And we are going to walk to the Louvre and have a guided tour through that and then we have some free time and then we get to go to the culinary school to learn how to cook but hey i already know how to cook We just finished up uh, cooking dinner for everybody and there were four groups and my group was in charge of the appetizers and we came in dead last and then mixed group you came you did the sec third course the main course. main course he did the main course with chicken it was actually really good i don't know if they came in second or third place because of course the people that made dessert won of course but um we're gonna go to bed now and tomorrow yeah tomorrow was uh is actually we're gonna go to the eiffel tower and our little paper says bonsoir Get ready for a 360 degree Eiffel of Paris and a trip down the river like you've never seen <laughs> for the river. Um, we also get to do a private yacht. We're supposed to dress up pretty fancy for a um, scenic dinner on a boat. So we'll check in tomorrow. So we took a nice long about a, oh man, I don't know, it was about an hour walk to the Eiffel Tower. You wanna say hi? Say hi. <laughs> now we're gonna go eat lunch Way up there. We're standing here ready to go up to the Eiffel Tower and I have Jeff and Michael with me and they have something to say to you. Jeff, you go first. Well, congratulations on an absolutely phenomenal year team made. Uh, you guys are rocking it. It's so fun to be able to say hi. Obviously, we're here in Paris, but uh, way to go. Yeah, Jeff, you said everything I was going to say. <laughs> I will just say that team made, you have done a fantastic job this year. Keep up the great work. Good job, you guys. Take care. We're saying goodbye to Paris and we're on our way to Normandy. I'm eating bread. <laughs> in the president in front of us so you know I'm not going to pass him. <laughs> but it's just beautiful out here. Not that 
it's a competition, but what place did we come in? Um, I think it was, I think I was third. This one, you too. Well, this one was first. first. Like she was, second. her hair was on fire. Third. We did pretty good, right? It's great. Yeah. All right, so recap of the day. We did do a, I say we because there's Nick. Flossing. <laughs> we did, good boy. We did do a 27 mile bike ride. Um, Nick and I kept up with Jeff right at the front, uh, did really good. And then we took a bus ride to, it's called Oren Normandy. And um, anyway, we are had dinner. And then tomorrow we're going to take another 21 mile bike ride to um, DeVille, I believe it's called, to go shopping and have lunch. And then we come back and we're on our own. So Mick and I are going to have a nice quiet dinner together, which I'm looking forward to. So we'll check in tomorrow. Um, they left us some caramels. I guess they're known for those. So I'll let you know how those work. All right, we're finishing up our day today, which is Thursday, so we're almost done. We went on a 20-mile bike ride, went into Deauville, and had lunch um, right up on the ocean. Then we came back here and hung out for a while. And some people got massages. We have one tomorrow morning. And then we walked into town and had dinner. Um, as usual, we got a little card. And this one says, Bonsoir, hope you're getting a sense of all the things French and fabulous. One more day to give it, give you the insider scoop on another Normandy tradition, Team Beachbody. So they left us some matches and a candle. And I know tomorrow we're going to, um, I think, a cider mill to have lunch, but that's all I know. There's a big surprise that they haven't told us about, so, you know, I'll tell you as soon as I do. All right, so we're here taking a tour of a, um, what would you call it, honey? What would you call it? Cider distillery. A cider distillery, and it's actually pretty cool. Um, they showed these. Oops, I gotta turn it around. <laughs> The three different kinds. Um, the first one, the clear one, takes about, I don't know, it's about a year. Um, the darker one is about two years, and then the really dark one has sat in a barrel for eight years, and we're about ready to go taste it, so I'll let you know whether or not it's good. All right, it's a surprise they just brought us here. We are going go-karting so you know mix in his comfort zone so the work that they do behind the scenes for this and with summit coming up right on the heels of this is just unbelievable it's it's actually magic the way it all comes together um, and I'm sure all of you noticed that there were a lot of details on this trip that were designed especially so that you have a great trip and get to hang out together and experience an amazing five-star lifestyle for a week, which is inspirational for you, but also inspirational to the people that follow you and who are looking up to you and, and seeing you as examples of what can be achieved in this business. And, and all of you are extraordinary in your own way, but this trip is really meaningful to us because we get to show our appreciation to you for what you do for us and for the business and for your friends and for your family, the way that you support people. Um, and every single one of you, at least a couple times on this trip, have talked about how fun it is to make money, but how what really excites you is that you're helping people around you and helping your family. And, how you've been able to change your lives and the lives of people around you. So we're just proud and honored to help you as you do that and provide a vehicle for you to have a great life, live a great lifestyle, and realize your dreams. So congratulations to you for that and for being here. So that's part of the toast. So here's the top 10 coaches. Um, <laughs> All right, we're just coming back from our dinner. It was our farewell dinner, and it was really good. Uh, when During these dinners, they always have the coaches tell their stories, and there were a few coaches that told stories that they have never told before, and um, it was really moving, very inspiring. So as we're getting into our room to pack up, because we got to get up at 4.30 in the morning to head to the UK, uh, we did, of course, have one more gift. They gave us some of that cider um, at the distillery, so we're going to somehow be able to get that home. And they left us a note, a cute note as they always have, that says, We've reached the finish line on this year's adventure and want to thank you for being a core part of Team Beachbody. Wishing you a safe journey home, Team Beachbody. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, Mick and I just want to let you know that um, we would like to see you here with us ne next year, maybe? Next year, for sure. But Not definitely maybe. for 2017, because as you've seen through this video, it is absolutely worth it.